What is up YouTube and welcome to this Thor Ragnarok video. So if you're new to the channel, a like and a subscribe is super, super appreciated here as we head in. It's not that long until we get Thor Ragnarok in the cinema and I am beyond excited for Thor Ragnarok. It is shaping up to be an awesome film. Personally, I am I wasn't really a fan of Thor 1 and 2, you know. Uh, the first one for me wasn't the kind of the best MCU film. I mean, Thor's cool. Yeah, yeah, he's cool. But the world around him is just... I don't know. It, it, I think it's possible the fact that he straddles two worlds between Earth and, of well, <laughs> Midgard and as well as that, Asgard. So it's not really, like, a film completely based in the mythology and everything of Thor would be pretty cool. But it just feels like the films never really kind of have that connection with me like the rest of the MCU. So if you're new to the channel, a like and a subscribe is super, super appreciated here. So Thor Ragnarok is going to be, I think, awesome, especially with the director Taika, Taika Waititi, I think that's how you pronounce his name. I recently watched What We Do in the Shadows again, just to remind myself just how amazing this actor and writer really is. But one of the biggest things here is the fact that Infinity War is looming. The looming threat of Thanos is there, the ever-present threat of the guy who is going to assemble all of these soul stones or soul gems, and he will be... he will have control over everything, just like he did in the comics. However, he will require all of them. And one is currently missing, or the whereabouts is not actually known. I guess that's kind of the same thing, and that is the Soul Stone. Now, a lot of people... Th there's, there's a lot of theories about where the Soul Stone actually is. One of them, which is, in my opinion, the most kind of convincing, is the fact that it is in Heimdall's sword. Now, Heimdall is, of course, the controller of the Rainbow Bridge, and he controls everything and everything which goes in and out of Asgard. And of course, if he is able to actually see everything, so the Soul Stone actually grants dominion over souls, which is, I guess that's in the name really, isn't it? But they are able to control and see everything that a person does and allows them to come back to life, which seems a bit OP for really a glorified bouncer, doesn't it? And, well, it does make sense that he can see everywhere in the entire universe. He can see anything, can see any person, which, obviously, we saw in the first film as well. So, yes, that is a convincing theory as to the fact that Heimdall could possibly have that. And the idea as well is the fact that what he could actually happen is that when Asgard is invaded by Hela, well, what happens then is that his sword is broken and the soul stone falls into the possession of Hela herself. Which, yes, that would then give her her powers back as being the goddess of death. And she has everything that she had before after being imprisoned for millennia. However, I'm going to present to you another theory and the fact that it, based on the images in the trailer and also the images that we've seen on the behind the set scenes in New York. So what happens here is that I'm going to posit that, well, it's Odin who has the stone in his eye patch. And obviously Odin has been an omnipresent th kind of, not threat, but kind of he is an omnipresent, omnipotent figure throughout the MCU. He has stupid amounts of powers which he would make sense because he is a god. And all of these people, they have hammers. You've got Loki, who is incredibly powerful as well. He had his scepter, which of course was an Infinity Stone itself, which is now in the possession of Vision. So moving forward, Odin is of course stupidly powerful. And what would make sense is that if he was actually given this stone after Hela was imprisoned, or later on after his father was actually died and that is where he got this from which is also possibly why they have or had the infinity or one of the infinity gauntlets in their possession in their trophy room so further to this as well i think that he had this and what has happened is it's kind of screwed everything up with loki after the dark world he actually 
has been impersonating Odin on the throne. And well, yeah, everything that is going to happen in Thor Ragnarok is sort of to do with down with Loki. But he can't help it. He is, of course, the god of mischief and mayhem, isn't he? So what could possibly happen here is that if we look at the trailer, what actually happens here is that the iconic, now infamous scene where Molnir is defeated and destroyed by Hela, where she just grabs it, that is seemingly on New York, or in New York, rather. So it's not on any other planet, it's not on any of the other ones we've seen. We've barely really seen New York in the trailer. We Obviously, we know that at the end of Doctor Strange, we know that Thor is on Earth, and, well, he's enlisted the help of Doctor Strange as well. So what is actually going to happen here is what I think is Hela will find Odin, who in the behind-the-scenes images, he is actually uh, sleeping on the streets. So he's sleeping on the streets. He is kind of like a tramp, and, and he is out of his powers. But Thor, obviously, Thor is looking for Odin. Hela is following him, and Hela is then able to take this. And then we see her with the orange thing around her when she gets her kind of headdress horn thing back. And then she is able to actually do what she does in the rest of the film. So I expect this is quite early on in the film, to be honest. So what do you think of this theory? Let me know in the comments below if you think that this is actually possible. Because I think that this would be a good idea. Another thing as well, which I think could could be possible, but goes against the evidence of it being in New York, is the fact that Loki maybe took it off his father when he was impersonating him and then gave it to Hela or something like that. But I want to know what you think in the comments below. I want to know what you think. Are you hyped for this film? Do you want to see more Marvel content on this channel as well? Because obviously the last Marvel video I did was about a week ago and we did the Marvel Legacy. So that is it for this video. Please do drop a like. Please do subscribe. And I'll see you soon. Goodbye.